<laughs> Alright ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the machine y'all, and I'm here talking about some uh, NASCAR <clears throat> news, so it's here right into it. So the Paris concert for the officer race this year will be Warren uh, Ziders. That's a huge hit, because he has a really good voice. And so I'm glad they actually got somebody, you know, that's really good for the All-Star Race instead of getting, like, say, like, Machine Gun Kelly or something like that. Some big news uh, yesterday, um, there was a tease of who, uh, there would be a driver announcement for the Junior uh, Motorsports number 88 car for Xfinity. And it was announced uh, yesterday that grassroots racing star uh, Bubba Pollard will drive the Richmond Xfinity race in the Junior Motorsports number 88. A ream will be sponsoring. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it being a, a light model guy. I, I just hope he does really well. We'll see how he does. The last uh, so-called late model guy worked out well for him. And at least he's going against the grain. And with finding his drivers, goes for like real talent, hard-working racers that deserve an opportunity. And nobody, and he, they, they didn't really tease Carl Edwards or other drivers people were mentioning. I think those people just getting their hopes up way too much. He isn't coming back to... Coming back, no matter how many times people hype him up as a return, it's not going to happen. And I hate how people are disappointed with this. I don't know what, what people are thinking. I just felt people got their hopes up too much. But I'm glad Bubba Paul is getting the opportunity because he's a really great um, racer over there in the grassroots. So we'll see how he does in the Richmond Xfinity race. This is some big news. Um, Dale Jr., you know, is working without a contract for NBC, and obviously, by far, their best announcer. And some news yesterday. The biggest name in NASCAR, Dale Earnhardt Jr., is leaving NBC for two newcomers. The Athletic has learned. So he's leaving NBC for Amazon, Warner Bros. Discovery. This is a massive, massive ale. Uh, for NBC. And I'll explain why. It's just the broadcast outside of him to listen to. I know sometimes he'll yell a lot, but that's mostly when there's like a, a crash. You'll be like, oh, we have a crash. Something like that. But. <sighs> big L for NBC. Big, big fail. I don't think they could afford them. But a major fail. And maybe um, Amazon and Max gave him the better deal. I, that, but it's still a huge loss to you know not bring back Dale Jr., who's really the voice of uh, the, the broadcast. And he's what made NBC's coverage good since he can, uh, joined the booth. And you're going to miss the jump scares like, oh, we got a crash. But I guess he's ready for a change. But it's a disappointing. He's the best part of the broadcast. But, but he doesn't need the money. His money, his motivation is simple that he enjoys the booth. But I'm still kind of shocked because I thought NBC would bring him back. To be honest, I really thought they would. But I guess they just couldn't afford him. But they did drop the ball on this, not getting him by it. Huge fail. Like, say it, because Junior had so much to the booth with how much his voice fluctuate and just joy gets out, gets out of watching how the races unfold. I don't know, I feel the second half season will not be the same. The excitement of getting added to the playoffs will just not be matched. Uh, 
Uh, NASCAR has told teams to have the defogger installed for Bristol in a couple weeks. So it appears that, like other short tracks, no wipers or rain flaps, but would race in damp conditions if no spray. So if there's no, like, spray on the track from the cars, then they'll still race. If there is, then they won't be able to race. And a few teams did a damp uh, track test at Bristol earlier this month to test it out. So, the short track package will probably will still be used in the rain. But why did they completely do away with wipers and rain flats? I mean, they won't run in the rain at all. So, I mean, there's really no point of it, is what somebody asked. I mean, there's no really point of no point having the flaps or the wipers if they're just going to race in damp conditions. So here's the uh, the purse money for for the Las Vegas weekend, including all chartered pants for cup, all pants for all finish positions, year in points fund, cup nine million bait nine million dollars, Xfinity one point eight million, nine million for cup, one million for Xfinity and for the truck series, seven hundred thirty six thousand two hundred fourteen dollars. Truck series teams get to pick a prize out of the treasure box. There's no point in the track series going west of the Mississippi River if the uh, purse money is going to be that low. Like, people wonder why we get the product out of them that we do. They should get paid more. Giving the command to start engine Sunday at Las Vegas is Raiders punter AJ Cole. Uh. The West Coast Stock Car Slash Motorsports Hall of Fame is named as 2024 class. Jimmy Johnson, Jimmy Vassar, Eric Holmes, Kyle Wells, and Dick Cobb. Hell yeah, Dick is in. Saturday Night Infield Concert Talladega will be country artist Walker Hayes. I, I, you mean pop artist Walker Hayes. Uh, it's not really country me. A Hendrick Cars website had previously said it would sponsor Roger Cruz for 10 truck races in 2024. It now will sponsor the truck for the full 23 races. He was third at Daytona and eighth at Atlanta. So it looked like so Hendrick Cars website were only going to sponsor him for 10 truck races, but now they're going to sponsor him for the full 23. Um. So. Really, that's really all the news here. So we'll go over the on-track activity today for Vegas. Uh, 4.35 truck practice qualifying, 6 p.m. NASCAR race up, then 6.35 Xfinity practice qualifying, 8 p.m. NASCAR race day, 9.13 truck green flag, uh, 60, 60s uh, for the weather, 2% chance of rain tomorrow. Uh, cut practice qualifying at 2.05, 4 p.m. NASCAR race day, Xfinity green at 5.13, 60s with a 15% chance of rain. Sunday... For Cup Day, uh, race day at two, uh, continues on Fox at three, three forty nine. The green flag, sixties with a five percent chance of rain. So I'm glad we're gonna get a, a, another week with no uh, chance of rain, or no big chance of rain. I bet that's all the news I want to talk about here. So until next time, I'm out. Peace.